Eric with Rock and H Farm Toys. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to upload an STL file for 3D printing to Shapeways.com. I had the file I want to 3D print created by another person and they emailed me the file that I need. You're looking at uh, the file extension STL which is common for 3D printing. This is in my email inbox. I'm going to download it to my uh, downloads file on my PC. Then go to shapeways.com. Log in with, to your free account. Once logged in, you want to click the tab Make and Sell in the upper middle of your screen. Once that's been completed, select Upload in the upper left hand corner in the red button. Look for a second red button that says Select 3D File. Click that button. Now locate the file uh, wherever you have it stored on your, S on your uh, PC. Here's the file that I'm going to have printed. Again, looking for the file extension STL. We're going to open that and upload it to Shapeways. Before you do that, make sure in this drop down menu here you select millimeters. I can't tell you why that is. Uh, the people that have done all my drawings say use millimeters. Click upload and you're about there. Once it's while it's uploading, uh, you should know that when the file is completely uploaded to Shapeways, it'll take a few minutes for the changes to propagate throughout the site. Go back to your email inbox in about five minutes and you'll receive an email that says your file is now ready to print. Immediately when the file hits Shapeways, you'll have a three-dimensional image you can change and manipulate so you can see it and make sure that the file looks the way you want it to. And you can change it and turn it all any which way you wish. Once your file is uploaded, you'll receive an email in your inbox that says your item is now ready to order and basically just gives you a link to the item. Go back to Shapeways, open up your item, and then you can see under Materials in the Edit Model tab up here, you can see that uh, all the different items that it's available to print in. If you have thin wall problems, which is not uncommon, you'll have to have your artist fix them or you got to go back and fix them yourself. In strong flexible plastic, which is the entry level plastic, you can see this item costs $36.18, but you can't print it just yet. Going down the list of items, you'll notice that Shapeways tells you the problems with different particular material types. So you'll have to scroll down and see if any of them qualify. For this model, frosted detail, ultra frosted detail are both acceptable materials for this product for this particular model, $64.20.91 respectively. Going all the way down the item, you can see the different items also, from the different types of steels to precious metals. And then some of them, this model is just too big for what, for uh, Shapeways to do. Now, I mentioned that you can have your artist go back and fix the file, or you can do it yourself if you know how to do it. Shapeways also has a neat feature where if you view the thin walls, it'll tell you where the problem lies. Right here in the problem area section, you can click the buttons and you can see right here in yellow, you have a thin wall. Also, another angle of the same thing. There's this new button here called fix thin walls and Shapeways will automatically go in and fix that so I'm going to do that for this model. This will take a few minutes. Once Shapeways has uh, corrected your file for the thin walls you can go back to your uh, model under the edit model tab then you can go then you will see that under white strong and flexible which again is the entry level plastic it now qualifies as one of the materials you can print in uh, so now the model is worth thirty six dollars and twelve cents your cost per shapeways 
And if you go down the list, some of the other materials still do not qualify. Some have thin wall problems yet. And of course, you still have frosted uh, detail and ultra frosted detail. Now, the difference between the two plastics is going to be the quality of the plastic. Again, the entry level plastic is going to have a rough finish. The detail will not be as pronounced, but yet it's going to be very durable. It's remarkably strong. You go down to the frosted or ultra detail. Both of these products have phenomenal detail. They're brilliant. They're well done. Uh, the problem that the only problem I've had with them is they're very brittle, in my opinion. Uh, the parts easily break off. Uh, can happen during shipment, and then once you get them, you bump them just right. The parts seem to break. So you're trading detail for a strength in some regard, but that's up to you. You'll have to print them and see what you like. That's how you upload a file to Shapeways. Once you're done here, you will save changes. Then you'll go into your account. You can select the product that you want. Uh, you'll basically use a shopping cart like shopping on Amazon. You can pay with your favorite debit or credit card or your PayPal account. And that's how you upload a file for 3D printing to Shapeways.com. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.